Anything but hatred, we're not against anything but segregation, prejudice, that's what we're against. We're not against people. We are for people. And having said that, it's our turn. It's our turn. It's our turn. Chicago's historic 1983 mayoral election sent the city's first black mayor to City Hall. Since Harold Washington's time in office and death in 1987, many are still talking about his impact. Punch Nine for Harold Washington is a documentary at this year's Chicago Film Festival. And the film's director, Joe Winston, joins us to talk more about it. Good morning. Good morning. It's funny, when you, you watch home film, at the time, you know, it doesn't seem like a big deal. Watch it 30, 40 years later, and sometimes you notice things that you didn't think were a big deal. What did you notice looking through this film for the first time? Um, well, thank you. The thing that really struck me about Harold Washington's story, which uh, in inspired me to make a film about him so many years later, was just how prescient it all is. It seems like all the major political battles in this country that we're still fighting were happening here in Chicago in the 1980s. It's interesting, too, a lot of this video came, you were young, it was that 83 election, you had like a Super 8 camera, and you were compelled to film some of the campaigning for Harold Washington, is that right? Well, I was fortunate enough to grow up in Hyde Park, the same neighborhood where Harold lived in when he was mayor, and he was a local hero, somebody we all saw, and through a lot of research, we were able to dig up all sorts of footage of him that nobody has seen before. I think we're going to provide a much more intimate look at him, and He's such an amazing character. I mean, he was, he was, he's one of the best movie characters ever. What, what makes you say that? Well, I mean, his, he, he's such a titanic figure because of his combination of sort of brass knuckled, fierce populism and honesty, you know, a politician who talks like a real person, and his fierce intellect that would intimidate even journalists who would cover him at the time. But then, of course, what he did is still monumental, not only the racial barrier that he broke, but I really think he changed the city forever. How so? You know, Harold kind of, he, he broke the Chicago machine. People forget about that when they talk about him as being our first black mayor. And he really kind of made modern Chicago possible, I think, by appointing the best people to do every job and kind of starting that process of bringing the city together. And when you see the old footage from the 1980s of sort of the Chicago ethnic fiefdoms, I, I think we have come a long way. You talk about the, the shock going back to looking at some of this video of the campaign slogan that was so offensive by one of his opponents. I remember that at the time, Epton, before it's too late, uh, from his white Republican opponent, the first Republican for mayor to be taken seriously in Chicago for most of the 20th century, right? I mean, I remember it at the time as a kid. I just kind of couldn't believe it. And looking back and seeing that it was actually on the back of all these TV commercials, and, of course, we got one of Epton's children on camera to talk about it. And what did they say after all these years? Well, you'll have to watch the movie to find all the details, but there was definitely some regret, I think. Huh. Let's talk about what you think could have been. It was such a short time that he was in office. What, what, do you th what impact did he have and what could have happened if he had lived? Harold did quite a lot in five years, but it's true. Remember, he always had that slogan. He said, I'm going to be your mayor for 20 years. And he was confident of that because he knew there was a lot of work to do. I think that his two biggest things that he changed were that he sort of just changed just what was acceptable and what was not acceptable in Chicago, who could be left out and who had to be included and who, you know, who had to be at the table. I, I think he was there long enough to change that forever. And I think uh, because he left us too soon, a lot of his legacy, too, or is it just the, all the people who worked for him and were influenced by him? And, of course, that includes all the way up to Barack Obama. Mm. You can catch Punch Nine for Harold Washington at Chicago's International Film Festival uh, through October 24th. For more information, head to chicagofilmfestival.com. Thanks Joe, for joining us. Thanks, Joe. Thank you very much.